to pair the Swan Smart Doorbell with an iPhone. So on the iPhone, you want to go to the App Stores and download the app called Swan Bus. After it is installed, you need to open it. Now once it is um, open, you need to sign in or sign up. If you haven't got an account before, you can tap on the sign up button. And here you need to print the username, email address, password, and another password to confirm. And tap on the create account. Um, an email will be sent to your email address that you use to sign up with this one uh, bus account. And you need to activate it. So once it is uh, activated, you can uh, tap on the sign in button. So here, uh, I'm going to put in the email address. And we need to put in the password as well. Put in the password and then tap on sign in. And now tap on set up new device. And on the doorbell, we need to press on the door button, doorbell button, and the reset button, and hold both at the same time, and then let go. And then you need to still press on the doorbell button. So press. Then let go of this reset button and continue to hold to the doorbell button for 5 seconds. So press, then let go and hold the doorbell button for 5 seconds. Once you see the blue light showing up around here and it will flash slowly, we can now pay our attention back to the Swan Bus app. And on, over here, tap on the next button. And then tap on the go to Wi-Fi settings button down here. So I tap on Wi-Fi. Then we tap on Swan VDB. And it will try to connect. So here we tap on the back button here. And then we need to put in the Wi-Fi password. So this is the Wi-Fi password at your home, you need to put in the password. Now, after putting in the password, tap on the Done button and tap on Next. So now it will try to set up this one doorbell uh, to the Wi-Fi. Now you will have a chance to uh, rename uh, the doorbell. Then tap on done and then tap on done button. And you can tap here to start the live feed. Now you can use this button to talk to the doorbell and you can also tap on the end button to end the uh, live feed. Over here on the left hand side is the menu button. If you tap on that, you can see there is a, a menu comes up and you can tap on the doorbell settings. And in here, you can tap on the front door and down here you can further customize uh, the doorbell settings such as uh, turning on battery saving mode, uh, set up HD video quality. You can also set up motion detections and uh, changing the video exposure. Uh, depending where your camera is facing and depending on whether you're facing uh, west or east and when the sun is uh, pointing directly to the camera or not. You can also uh, set the time out, change the volume, uh, recording video time. So by default it is set to 30 seconds. So you can decrease or increase it to 45 or 60 seconds. And the last option here is to reboot the device. And that's pretty much it. Something on the back here. Tap on the back arrow to go back, and that's the device right there. So this is the activity. So when we press on the doorbell, so it shows a notification, and you can tap on that to view uh, the camera.